We're heading out of 10 sleep on section 7. It's 7.53 a.m. and 36 degrees. Hey there, welcome back to Best of the Backroads. And it's the final installment of the Wyoming BDR that uh, Chris and I are on. Today we completed, uh, finished section 7 and then went on and did uh, section eight, which was only 43 miles. Um, one way. One way. <laughs> then we had to come back. <laughs> yeah, we got to come back, yeah. Uh, what'd you think of section seven? Section seven and section eight were the best on on this Wyoming BDR. We had, the, the Bighorn Mountains were very scenic. Um, the, the trail riding was, was really, really good. And um, I, I I love this part of the BDR, especially seven. Seven is probably my, my favorite favorite out of all of them. So we started at uh, Tensley, uh, which was the, the very beginning. And early on, they take start taking you right up into the mountains on normal gravel roads, the kind of gravel roads mm -hmm. we've been seeing. Um, you know, uh, we kind of got our fill of them uh, the previous day. So it was good to get that. And then all of a sudden you're in these high meadows with, uh, I guess you'd call it two track. But it was rocky and fun and up and down. I don't know how else to describe it. It seemed like there was less pavement today, too. Yeah. Um, yeah a lot like, compared to, to the other uh, sections. I, I think it was really well thought out because you hit a little bit of pavement, but mm -hmm. then you get some gravel roads. Yeah, just then, a little bit. And then you get some dynamic mm -hmm. uh, double track and rocks and everything like that. Um, there wasn't very many sandy spots, just a little bit. Uh, enough to keep you on your toes, I guess, but nothing mm -hmm. crazy. But the the true thing is when you got to the forests in the big corn mountains, um, it was a little muddy, but we're Tennessee boys. We can mm -hmm. handle some mud. We can handle that, yeah. And uh, it was fantastic. It was really it was good really, ride. really, really good. The only thing I wished is that we didn't have our, our uh, gear because it made the bikes heavier or we would have really uh, been able to pour it on. It was really, yeah. really good stuff. We've um, done that before on the last section, and, and we, we camp at the and, and just leave our stuff at, at the campsite and then go take off to the last section and come right back and, and camp in the same spot. Um, that would make the bikes much lighter. Probably would have preferred that, actually. Yeah. Oh, camp if we knew we were going to camp. Where yeah, we're at. if we knew we was going to camp. And we've done that somewhere yeah. before. I can't remember, I, I, I but can't, I think we have. Well, it was the Colorado. Remember, we, we started out. Oh. Oh, we we, we kind of want to get our yeah. wheels underneath us, and we we left Steamboat, went up the yeah. bags, and, and then come right back to Steamboat and loaded up everything. Yeah, that's true. The other thing is the scenery was so much better than the day before. Night oh, and day. Night and day difference. If you're going to pick one section of of Wyoming, the Bighorn Mountains. 100%. That's the one you got to do. Like, if you uh, got a limited amount of days, seven and eight, the Big Horn Mountains, yep. definitely. Yeah, it was fantastic. And, and, uh, because uh, you, you, then you, you, you kind of drive down into, uh, Bear Lodge, which they serve food. It's great. We got lunch mm -hmm. there. Hot meal, because it was cold all day. Yeah, all day it was cold today. And, um, then we went back out, and I thought it was like a victory lap. I told her, oh, we'll just do 43 miles. It's like a victory <laughs> lap. And maybe the first 15 miles was, and then we got in some good double track there, yes. too. And it we was did. really good. Um, I think it's Road 143, for FR 143, I guess Forest Road 143. It was awesome. And and people kept asking us if it was a little, little uh, messy or muddy, mm -hmm. and we didn't know what they were talking about. Well, they were talking about that road and, and then the final road. It maybe she, had... She, sheep's bend or something right yeah it might have slightly a little bit too much moisture in, in the dirt but it yeah, was fine we got knobbies yeah. it was no big deal at all yeah it was awesome it, it we, was really good so you know we we do ride a wr uh yamaha wr 250 and then i'm on a, a 300 l honda and uh, we do ride small bikes and uh, these sections with the forest roads and the up and down and a little bit muddy and a little bit rocky and gnarly, that's exactly why we ride the little bikes. Just, uh, a big bike, it's fun. On a little bike, it's really fun. You know, you fun. can really, you know, uh, kind of move the bike around and, mm -hmm. and kind of kind of pick bad lines on purpose because it's just fun. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes yeah. we pick the headlines on accident too, and they just happen to work yeah, out. Yeah. <laughs> so we had no drops today, by yeah. the way. Zero drops, zero drama. Um, we didn't have any uh, problem with uh, uh, any equipment. Actually, this whole run, I guess we can say we never we didn't have any equipment failures. Mm -hmm. 
Some uh, burned clothes and a burnt tan. <laughs> <laughs> somehow, somehow, Chris burnt his uh, his pants yeah, at uh, the knees. Yeah, the I, I, I think when we that, that was um, going up a real rocky, rocky section, and I was moving all over the bike to keep it in balance. I, I placed my uh, right knee on the exhaust and burned it right through. You know, so that was a six hundred dollar pair of pants gone. Yeah, so that was probably his. Um, so I don't think we have anything new to report on the, on the damage. Uh, we did do the outback, and we came back, and now. Uh, what was the name of the campground? Plum Creek or something? Plum or Prune Creek. Prune, Prune Creek, yeah. Or Prune Creek. Like uh, anyway, we rolled in this campground. It's a great little campground. It looks beautiful. Um, and uh, we didn't have a pen. And we were welcomed in. Uh, when I went to ask for a pen, uh, these folks offered us a beer. Actually, uh, two beers. One for him, one for me. So, Wyoming hospitality, 100% thumbs up. <laughs> But we're gonna bed down for the night, uh, and then I think we've got a long slab. Oh, the slab. Uh, but for us, I, I think the Wyoming BDR is complete. It is and complete. Do you have anything you want to say about the final final words about the Wyoming BDR? No, but, but we talked so much about a section uh, seven and eight. We also want to throw in there that what one, two, and three was. Um, four was pretty good as well in a few sections of the yeah of, i mean i guess five. i can say that one two three seven and eight were good for me mm -hmm. four I, I just didn't care for it it was a lot of work and not a lot of scenery and i mm -hmm. know it's beaver rim and people love it but i didn't and right. then uh there's a dog uh i think no one likes uh section six yeah section six was pretty it was rough. The end It'll of, just yeah. prairie or high desert, whatever you want to call, yeah, call through, it. Through yeah. those natural gas lines. Lines and, yeah. and rattlesnakes. And, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it wasn't our favorite, no. but uh, everything else is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Do it. All right, we made it. <laughs> the end of the Wyoming BDR. We did it. We left out Sunday, did the BDR X. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, five days. We made it to the end. We are done. It is about 4 p.m. here. Uh, we got to turn around and go back. Uh, our next uh, our next objective is just to park the bikes at back of the truck. Uh, Chris and I have a couple days to mess around. I think we're going to go to the Black Hills. We might do that BDR on our way back to Tennessee. But for now, we're just going to soak it in a minute. Uh, enjoy uh, the end of a BDR. It's always... Uh, kind of a bittersweet feeling you get to the end and you're like oh now what and uh, luckily for us uh, we have an adventure next